does life have to be so complicated? <laughs> Just when you figure it out, all this biodiesel and that kind of stuff, yeah, there's a new one in town now. Yeah, the fuel pump was labeled renewable diesel. <laughs> yeah, what the heck is that? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> turns out here in California, they sell a lot of it. Uh, yeah, and it's rapidly replacing the biodiesel that, that we've had and had to deal with. So anyway, today I thought I'd go over the three different types, uh, petroleum diesel, biodiesel, and this new renewable diesel to kind of figure out what the heck's going on. First up is regular diesel. Also uh, usually called diesel number two on the pumps. Sometimes they just say diesel. So that's going to be made from petroleum, uh, crude oil. Uh, yeah, it comes from plants like everything else, but it's just been in the ground a long time. So anyway, they have to refine it in these big plants uh, and convert it into things like gasoline, plastics, and diesel fuel. Regular diesel is usually considered the best fuel for your road vehicles. Um, yeah, it's ultra low sulfur. Uh, that keeps down the acid rain. And sometimes at the truck stops you may find off-road diesel. Uh, yeah, it's colored red and it's illegal to use that in your car or truck because uh, there's no highway taxes on it. And also, um, anyway, but otherwise uh, regular diesel is pretty standard. Uh, works it works on almost all diesel vehicles and that kind of stuff. Uh, the only bad characteristics it have is that it does tend to uh, freeze up in the winter. Um, so usually they'll mix it in with a little bit of uh, number one diesel number one to uh, make it a little thinner so it doesn't freeze up. Refiners do that automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. If you buy regular diesel in the summer and you don't use it until the winter. Um, yeah, it may freeze up in your fuel filter. Another characteristic diesel has is. Uh, if you have water in your fuel tank, uh, yeah, the microbes live in the water, but they eat the diesel fuel, so that can make a little sludge in the bottom. So um, usually it doesn't cause too much problem, but um, yeah, it can plug up the fuel filter, so that's why we have fuel filters. Next up is biodiesel. Yeah, this is the fuel that we love to hate. <laughs> well, those signs you see on the fuel pump, it says B20, that means 20% biodiesel. Most people will tell you to avoid B20, uh, but you can use it in your vehicle. Mercedes doesn't recommend it. It's made to a different ASTM, so it's not exactly interchangeable. Uh, but I do mix it in for environmental reasons. The good thing about B20 fuel is it's a little bit better for the environment. It lowers your emissions. Um, it's a good lubricant, and it's a good solvent. Yeah, <laughs> uh, of course, the bad thing is it's a good solvent. So, um, yeah, if you've used a lot of the regular uh, uh, diesel fluid for diesel fuel for a long time, uh, you could have some uh, some crud and some deposits in your fuel tank. And if you put the B20 in, you can loosen up some of those deposits or even some of the microbes that are growing in there if you have any. Um, yeah, so it's gonna, it might plug up your fuel filter. So anyway, um, you can use it. They use it quite a bit in uh, Minnesota. They have to. You just have to change your fuel filter and change your oil a little more frequently. Um, otherwise, there's not too many drawbacks about it. Uh, I've used it before and try to avoid it, but if I have to, you have to. So anyway. Now, for the new kit in the block, renewable. Yeah, renewable diesel is something that's kind of new, uh, and I think it's going to take over the, from the uh, B20. But anyway, here in California, uh, they subsidize it, so uh, it's made from... You know, soybeans and other plant materials, but it's processed in like a petroleum uh, plant. Uh, it has a bunch of advantages. It's uh, cleaner burning. Uh, gives you a little better performance because the, well, it's not the uh, octane rating, but it's the cetane rating is higher. You can use it straight in any diesel engine. Uh, it's it just fine. And actually, it uh, it holds up better in the cold weather also. It doesn't um, freeze up until it's like minus 40, so... Uh, not that I worry about it in California. It's also chemically very similar to regular petroleum diesel. So um, it's really interchangeable. You can use it um, any, anywhere you can use diesel fuel. Uh, the only drawbacks it has is it's more expensive to make that than uh, digging it out of the ground. And uh, it's only available right now in California and a little bit in Oregon. But anyway, it might spread across the country. Um, so what does Mercedes say about renewable? Um, they don't really say anything. Uh, <laughs> I think it's kind of new on the market. It's only They've only been making it for maybe five or six years, I think. Uh, but anyway, uh, even though Mercedes says don't use B20, um, 
they don't say you can't use the renewable because it meets all the same standards. So um, I don't worry about it unless it says B20 on the pump. And then it's like, uh, okay, I got to be careful with that. Uh, a couple of tips. If you do have to use B20, yeah, keep your tank full because you don't want condensation of water in there because that will cause the algae to, well, it's not really algae, but for the microbes to grow. Uh, yeah, then that can plug up your fuel filter a little better. So anyway, you got to use a little more maintenance with the B20. But renewable is fine. You can just run it straight. It's uh, no problem at all. So, anyway, hope that's been informative. This is Grandpa Ron, and I'll see you on the road. Thank <laughs> you.